Welcome to the Fun Astrology Podcast for Hump Day, Wednesday, February 22nd. Roll those twos. 222 two, two, 2023. You numerologists are having a field day today. We had an amazing group reading last night. For those of you who participated and even watched in, thank you so much. It's on YouTube, and it's also in our Fun Astrology Podcast Facebook group page. So if you'd like to check it out on either spot, so you can watch the replay. It'll be there forever, and it was a lot of fun. What a great kickoff. We're going to do more, and Kristen and I have already talked about how we're going to change it up. But last night at 7.30 Eastern Time, when we started this in Tampa, Florida, our Piscean moon was still at 27 degrees, and it had not gone void, of course. You know what we talked about yesterday? The triple day of Pisces rising, Pisces moon, Pisces sun. And the other cool thing was that Mercury, which we also talked about, was in that square with Uranus, the planet of astrology. So we had the spiritual conjunction of the night with the moon and Neptune and Pisces. And then we had the signature of communicating on a group level in astrology. How perfect. And we were in the applying energy of today's Mercury aspect. This is three of three. And that is a trine with Mars in Gemini. So an air trine, Mercury in Aquarius, Mars in Gemini. Also a good time to learn astrology and to look at multiple charts, which we did. That aspect hits at 3.13 this afternoon, Eastern Time. Powerful communication, but just make sure in the air sign that it's not too much in your head. Be sure to find the message in your heart and then use that clarity to communicate it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the last exact aspect except for the moon's sign changes that we have all the way until Monday. Now, one other thing that's applying here, and we talk about this periodically as it comes up, but on Friday afternoon at 1 o'clock Eastern, Friday afternoon, the sun sextiles the north node of the moon, so that means it's trying the south node of the moon, and if you've listened for a while, you know that that is akin to a moon wobble aspect, but not the one that triggers a moon wobble. This is half a moon wobble. <laughs> it's the favorable side halfway between the last one and the next one. And I think wasn't the end of the, it, it had gone out, but it was like right after the moon wobble that that earthquake in Turkey occurred. So we're about six weeks away from the next phase. So if you're doing that deep spiritual work right now, especially under this Piscean season that we've been talking about, capture all the aspects related to anything spiritual, anything that you can mash the gas, I guess is about the best way to say, on your spiritual development. And obviously anything around the nodes of the moon encompasses that. So something might present itself over the next four or five days. Don't forget that. Don't keep, keep your eye on it over the, through the weekend because it definitely could show up. Now, the moon set up for the next couple of days. Aries moon today and tomorrow. Taurus moon Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday morning at about 1045 Eastern, the moon enters Gemini. So other than that, no other direct aspects until we get into next week. So while the sky is quiet, I'm going to take a little break too, and I will see you on Sunday night for Level Up, and then back here again on Monday. Have a great little break. Enjoy it, because when we turn the page next week and March begins, it's going to get active in the sky. Focus on love above all else. Have a wonderful break, and I'll see you back on Monday. <laughs>